we can use what we know about factors to answer division questions. So if we didn't know our 6 times table, but we did know that 3 times 2 is 6, we could divide by factors. So we could first work out 24 divided by 3, the first of our factors, to get 8. Then we could divide by 2, the second factor, to get 4. So 24 divided by 6 is 4. And we can show why this works. Here we have 24 cubes. Let's first divide them into three groups, just as we divided by three here. And now, let's divide each of those groups by two, like we did here. You can see that by doing this, we now really have our 24 cubes divided into six small rectangles. And because we have 4 in each small rectangle, we know that our answer is 4. Let's try another one. If we didn't know our 8 times table, but did know that 4 times 2 is 8, we could answer this question. First, we could divide 24 by 4, so by the first of our factors, to get 6. Then we could divide by 2, the second of our factors, to get 3. So 24 divided by 8 is 3. And again, we can show this visually. Here we have 24 cubes. Let's first divide them into 4 groups, just as we divided by 4 here. Now let's divide each of those groups by 2, like we did here. You can see that by doing this, we now really have our 24 cubes divided into 8 small rectangles. And because we have 3 in each group, we know that our answer is 3. Now you might already know your division facts for your times tables, but we can use factors when we're asked to divide by a two-digit divisor, like we have here. If we know that 14 is 2 times 7, we can first of all divide 280 by 2 by our first factor. Then we can divide our first answer, divide 140, by 7, our second factor. This gives us our answer, 20. So here we have 414 divided by 18. You might not know your division facts for the 18 times table, but I'm sure you do know that 2 times 9 is 18. So now pause the video and see if you can use this to answer the question. We can start with 414 divided by 2, our first factor. That gives us 207. Then we can divide 207 by 9, our second factor. And that gives us our answer, 23. So now pause the video and see if you can answer this question using factor pairs. 3 times 7 is 21. So I'm going to divide by 3 and then divide the answer by 7. But you could do it the other way round. You could divide by 7 first and then divide by 3. But dividing by 3 first we get 273, and then dividing by 7, the other factor, gives us 39, our answer. 
So now we're dividing by 32. 4 times 8 is 32. But 32 does have other factors. But why wouldn't we use the factors 2 and 16? Well, unless you know your division facts for the 16 times table, this, that wouldn't make it much easier for you. So let's divide by 4, our first factor. We get 472, which we can then divide by 8, our second factor. And that gives us our answer, 59.